Hi there, it's Laura from MakeLifeLovely.com and today I'm going to show you how to make fake snow. This DIY snow is absolutely amazing. It only takes two ingredients that you probably already have at home, it's super easy to make, and it actually feels cold to the touch just like real snow. To make DIY fake snow, you'll need two ingredients, baking soda and shaving cream. I used a four pound box of baking soda and a 10 ounce bottle of shaving cream. I ended up using just a little bit more shaving cream than the 10 ounces, so you might wanna have an extra can on hand. Now this is really fun to make, but it can get a bit messy. What I like to do is put everything inside a plastic container. And so first I'll dump all of the baking soda inside and then I'll put all the shaving cream inside. And then it's time to mix. You'll just keep using those hands and mix the shaving cream and the baking soda together. Just keep mixing, 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 and it will take about five minutes until it becomes more powdery and more snow-like. And it's interesting because it starts getting colder and colder the more you mix it, just like real snow. And it smells really good because of the shaving cream. So not only does it feel good, it smells good. It's super fun to play with, even for adults. Once everything's mixed together, you're going to want to gauge the texture and the consistency. If it feels too powdery or too much like baking soda, then you need to add a little bit more shaving cream to the mix. If it feels too wet and it doesn't feel as powdery as you'd like it, then add more baking soda. And so you might need to add a little bit more here and there along the way as you're mixing. And this will give you that perfect snow-like consistency. You'll know your fake snow is ready when you can form a snowball with it and it clumps together easily, but it also breaks apart easily in your hands too. Making fake snow at home is a wonderful kids sensory activity. It's great for kids of all ages. Younger kids, you might wanna help them with the mixing, but older kids, they can mix it all themselves, no problem. If your kids play with the snow, you can choose to let them play in the container so it's all kind of contained and in one spot, or you can put it out on a flat surface and let them pull out some toys. My daughter loves to play with her frozen toys, so she likes to make little snowballs for Elsa and Anna and Olaf and um, play with her characters in the snow. When she's done playing with the snow, we put it back in the container and put the lid back on and save it for the next day. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make snow and you'll give this a try. This DIY snow tutorial has been really popular on my website, makelifelovely.com, so I'm happy I got to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more creative ideas.